students uh, today we are going to study about uh, respiratory stimulants also called as uh, analeptics now these are the drugs that uh, stimulate respiration and uh, thus restore or recover normal respiration during conditions like unconsciousness and uh, thus these agents are of uh, resuscitative value in coma or fainting now talking about the medical uses of uh, respiratory stimulants analeptics are used in the management of uh, respiratory depression then apnea that is a cessation of breathing for about uh, uh, 15 to 20 seconds in premature infants and then uh, analeptics are an anesthetic recovery tool and they help patients recover from anesthesia uh, when the patients fail to ventilate or uh, breathe spontaneously after the administration of general anesthesia. Now apart from this as we all know poisoning with opioids and barbiturates produce respiratory depression. Analeptics are useful in emergency situations to reduce uh, depressant effect of a poison until uh, mechanical ventilation is available. Now talking about the drawbacks of uh, respiratory stimulants, use of analeptics is very limited uh, because of the narrow margin of safety as uh, analeptics can cause conversion. Now mechanical support to respiration is more effective and safe and overall utility of uh, analeptics is highly uncertain, it's highly dubious. Now let's discuss the pharmacology of uh, key respiratory stimulant uh, that is the doxapram. Now talking about the mechanism of action, uh, doxapram acts uh, centrally as well as peripherally. Uh, centrally doxapram uh, stimulates medullary center that is a respiratory center located in medulla oblongata of uh, brainstem and it acts peripherally by stimulating chemoreceptors located in carotid artery and iota and this improves both rate as well as the depth of ventilation. Uses of doxapram as discussed earlier, uh, it's used primarily as a second line agent along with the methylxanthines for example theophylline for refractory apnea of prematurity. Now in uh, full term infants uh, doxapram is administered immediately after birth and it hastens or it uh, speeds of recovery from respiratory depression in infants uh, caused due to uh, maternal narcotic or anesthetic exposure. Now apart from this in emergency situations like uh, poisoning doxapram decreases respiratory depressant effect of uh, opiates and uh, barbiturates. Now pharmacokinetics of doxapram, doxapram is often administered as a continuous intravenous infusion. Uh, its onset of action is 20 to 40 seconds while its duration of action is 5 to 12 minutes. Now however use of doxapram is very limited as overall utility of analeptics is highly uncertain or dubious. So this is in brief on uh, respiratory stimulants that is uh, analeptics. And please note that this video is meant only for educational purpose. Uh, if you find the video useful, kindly like, subscribe and share this video. Uh, thanks for watching the video.